who's got a baby? Yeah, oh, who's you don't baby? know? Yeah. Like, you can't just look and tell? No. No? Wait, do you have one? Or no. No? no? This all natural? Yeah! <laughs> I ain't got no BBL. I ain't got no BBL. Yeah. Do you have any work done? I ain't got no BBL. <laughs> When it comes to the spotlight, Jocelyn Hernandez knows exactly what to do with it. From being a reality TV star and musician to creating her own show, the Puerto Rican princess has been leaving her stamp on the entertainment industry for years. Now she's stepping into the shade room, pulling the curtain back and revealing the magic of her sasson. What's up, roommates? It's your girl, Tembi, and today we've got La Princesa Puerto Ricana, the Puerto Rican princess, Jocelyn Hernandez, stepping into the shade room. Hola, preciosa. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? You know, I'll be speaking Espanol. Yo no sé por qué te hablaba en español. Un poco. Un poquito nada más. Un poco. Un poco suavecito, no muy rápido. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. This is racing. Thank right. you so much. Of this course. is, I mean, you know, I follow the Shea Room. I love the Shea Room. And I mean, I feel like I almost grew up with the Shea yes, Room. Yes, 100%. Of course, yeah. I, Around the time we started, you know, loving hip hop was a thing. I made the mother <laughs> Shea Room, y'all. This is me. This is me. I'm the land for the Shea Room. I'm you hear dead. me? <laughs> so I'm happy to be here because yeah, this so is like, I just feel like I grew up with you guys, like for Aww. real. Like, I yeah, we watched it. you grow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's so cool. Let's talk well, about that. Cheers to that! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes, babe. All right. So, stepping into the shade room, and today we're gonna write a song. Oh my okay, God. so are you down with that? Yeah. Because you be having hits. You be having hits. Do it like it's your B-Day, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. Hey. I want to ride out. 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 You got to come to one of my shows. I want the whole shade room, the whole crew, everybody okay. in the back. I'm serious. You Invite us. One. We'll be there. Everything is on us. We'll have a table, champagne, everything, and it'll be epic. I would love the shade room. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. I would love the shade room to come in and visit one of the cabarets. It's and so where, cool. And where do you guys film? Okay, so we just finished shooting Jocelyn's and Cabaret season four in New York. Okay. Shout out to Seuss Network. We shot it in New York, and, you know, we just, I go to different cities. I started in Miami. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Atlanta. Then I went to Vegas, and now New York. What's you next? Know, it's, it's, for me, the cabaret was always to really just show myself as an artist mm -hmm. and to allow the other girls that came from where I came from. I used to be a stripper. Right. I used to be outside. outside right, outside, you know outside, what I'm saying? Outside. <laughs> So, like, I've always been a performer, always mm -hmm. been a performer my whole life. And I just always wanted to give other girls opportunity, but more so give myself an opportunity, too. Right. So, you know, <laughs> so you I always say you're the greatest. Oh, my god. What gosh. makes you the greatest? You know, can I tell you something, babe? I don't know why I just be saying shit out of my mouth. Because <laughs> I, obviously I know I'm not the greatest, but I work hard, uh -huh. you know? But I'm not the greatest. Like, I don't think nobody's the greatest. Mm -hmm. I think we all have so much work to do to get to even be considered the greatest, you know? Mm -hmm. Some of us that's living are the greatest already. Because right. they putting enough work, but definitely not me. But I mean, I'm the greatest at doing reality TV. I was just about to say that. You are one of the queens of reality TV. Like, do you think Love and Hip Hop Atlanta or Love and Hip Hop in general is as successful without Jocelyn in the mix? Well, and the Jocelyn Stevie dynamic, like, is that, is it as successful? Does it have all these other franchises without you guys? Okay, so here's the thing. 2012 was a different time. When we first started doing Love & Hip Hop, when I was doing Love & Hip Hop, Stevie was doing Love & Hip Hop, or uh, 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 Mimi, or, or, or Carly, or Vincina, anybody. I think, like, it was a different time, right? And so... We were so in tune with that love and hip hop because it's like, what the hell going on? Mm -hmm. Where all this madness come from? Right. Wait, that's on the national television right now. We're all watching this. No, this cannot be life. This is the greatest <laughs> thing that happened to the universe. Right. So I think it was that. Uh, I feel, though, that a lot of companies have felt that they could bring the ratings that they bring without me. Mm. And I think that's where they fail because... I always, and I said this last night, it's like I always have to constantly show these networks mm -hmm. that Jocelyn Hernandez is always going to be top of the food chain when yeah. it comes down to the reality TV mm -hmm. because I've mastered that. Right. I mean, I got over 20,000 hours doing that. Wow. But now you, you're, you have ownership at Zeus. Yes. Of, Shout you know, out to Zeus. Shout yeah, out to Zeus. I, so we, well, we, of course, we are partners, but I mm -hmm. have... Stay you own something, I right? Own, yeah, Versus well, I own a little bit more than yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I don't like to give my goodies away. <laughs> <laughs> Only to my husband sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I own I own I own a, a, a pretty uh, amount of my IP, my intellectual yeah. property, and a lot of people never learn about intellectual property. And I feel like a lot of people always see me like in this right rowdy fighting, mm -hmm. you know, light that they don't they don't really know how smart I I is, yeah. girl. You're so smart you though. Know, You're like, so smart. Like you figured it out, and I think you've learned, you know, from coming from like the VH1 era and you know things like that. You've learned certain things that you know going over somewhere else. You're like, okay, this time I'm gonna need ownership because over there I did so much, and you for know, for so many years, for so many years, and you know, no nothing really came of it as far as like ownership. You know, yeah. But they definitely, uh, you know, put me on the map, right? I was able to grow. I was able to have ownership of my, of of my life and my career. Give mm -hmm. opportunities and enjoy life mm -hmm. and, and see where this takes me. Because you know, I hate when people be like, "What's next?" Yeah, there is no next. I mean, next is like after I walk out of here and go outside and go to the mall and go drop a bag. That's what's mm -hmm. next. You know what I'm saying? When <laughs> yeah. I wake up in the morning, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. Who knows if I'm going to wake up with the same state of mind? I tell my husband all the time, if we hit the lottery for three hundred million, I'm out. Really. I'm, because it's like, I don't really, okay, I'm good at doing things, right? Mm -hmm. But I've been fighting my whole life to get the things that I'm finally doing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep fighting. Yeah. I want to just be straight. Why would anybody want to keep fighting? Yeah. Well, speaking of fighting, you know. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. I get that. I get that. <laughs> Wait. What's going on? <laughs> okay, you better show off the bag. You better show it off. <laughs> I get that. I see, so what do they call that? Do they call that like a, a briefcase? briefcase? Okay. Yeah. Well, first of all, shout out to the shade room because the shade room always posts me in my fashion because yes. I do be fly as f And this is like you put all my briefcases on your page, like mostly all of them. Yeah. Have made the shade room. I love that. This is like my, one of my latest one. It's just Christian Dior. That's very Dior. cute. Thank so you. do you do you just prefer like briefcases versus like an actual like purse? I be bag? having a lot of cash. Yeah. Don't think you're gonna be able to just walk up on me. It, right. it ain't that. It ain't that. She easy. got security. She rolled yeah. up in here with like 20 security. Don't uh, try it. Don't even mother try. <laughs> but like you know, like if I wake up, I want to go to the mall. I go to yeah. the bank, and I, you know, I feel like you get more if you want to get your money back from this. Uh -huh. You're gonna get a bag. It's like that purse. Them briefcases. Yeah. They love them. Okay. They love them. They're always gonna forever keep the value. Yeah. So I like them for that, and then I also like them because I'm always in some. Sh Mm -hmm. So I got to have cash flow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, speaking of the sh we do have to touch on it. Okay. Um, you know, so what happened with Amber Rose? Well, we know we know what happened, but, like, so why don't you think she's black? Or that she, why don't you think she feels like she's black, a black woman? Because she's black. Her, her mama black. She got a big black put that we all do that's <laughs> black up in here. And she just don't want to be black. But this but is why not, do you say But this that? is nothing I'm saying. She said this on camera before. Why is everybody so shocked that I said it, you know? But no, why do you, because you called her a Karen. She's definitely a Karen. What makes her Karen? She don't like, she don't like to be black. She don't like to be black. She don't like to be black. She got black children. And, and, and you should hear some of the things that come out of this white lady's mouth. <laughs> Not white lady. What what has she said? Because I feel like she, you know, she's always said, you Can know. Can I tell you? Go ahead. Yeah, she's always said, you know, I'm I'm black. I'm I'm half black. I'm half white. So she, you know, speaks to both sides of her. Well, the the videos I've seen say otherwise, but that's not either here or there. That lady has enough problem. Her her baby daddy just left her for a seventy five year old. Let's not even go there. Okay, she got enough hurt in her heart, and she's going through enough things, two failed marriages, and. Come on, now, please, let's not go there. She has enough problem for me to go and keep digging at her. But one thing about me, I'm going to keep the truth and speak the truth, and, and, and you can lie to yourself and that one man upstairs. You can't mm. lie to nobody else. Okay, and that's, the, and that's that. And that's just that. Okay, so what about what happened in Vegas? Like, can you can you give us <laughs> Vegas? <laughs> well, at the, I haven't been to fight. Vegas in like a year. No, was it? What was? Where was the fight? The Floyd fight? Oh, for Lauderdale. Oh, okay, my bad. I said, girl, I'm why did you putting me in location? <laughs> I'm used to the fights being in Vegas. Okay, so we we saw the aftermath, but what caused that situation? The performance? <laughs> <laughs> the fight. The fight, you know, with you and Lex, and then you, you know, you were taken like to jail and stuff like that. Were you scared? First of all, that 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 
whoever that lady is, I don't even know who she is. Okay. I could see the lady right now, right here, and I'd be like, lady, I'm sorry, I don't know who Sorry you to are. that man. Sorry to so, that woman. Sorry to that woman. I wouldn't know who that woman was if I saw that woman right now, right here in the shade room. <laughs> I would be like, I don't know who that woman is. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so, okay, so this unknown woman, what is it that, like, what caused it? Because I saw someone throw, like, some water or something. So was that what it was, or was there something, like, underlying that caused the situation? I, um, let me see how I could... <laughs> how I could respond to this. Um, a lot of times, you know, on the media, we only see certain things and certain mm -hmm. parts and certain, uh, you know, locations and yeah. angles and stuff like that. So, obviously, it was a lot of stuff that happened prior to just the small clips that came out. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I got an open case, girl. I got four. Okay. I got a couple <laughs> of felonies and a couple of misdemeanors <laughs> and a couple of... Bonds and the <laughs> right. <laughs> and so the footage of the like arrest, you know, was was released earlier today, actually. So in that moment, you know, were you like scared being like a black woman with, you know, white policemen and, you know, being, you know, upset and not in the, you know, like what, what was even going through your mind? I was definitely scared. I was scared. I was scared because, you know, at that moment, it's like, OK. Yeah. I might have went too far. Mm -hmm. If I get hurt, it could be a, a possibility that you could really get hurt when you go when you when you go under those that type of situation. So uh, but, you know, I'm a praying woman. Can't go wrong with that. So I was praying mm -hmm. and I was praying and I was praying and I was praying. And thank God uh, that, that, that I'm still here sitting down with you to see another day. Amen. Amen. And, you know, speaking of growth, you you've definitely grown. I know, you know, you got emotional, you know, in, in a in a clip after you were performing a few weeks ago and saying that it was um, the first time you'd like performed sober. <laughs> Girl, my makeup too cute. Stop it. Ah! Stop it. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you cry. I'm so like, how, how'd you get, you know, Basically, what was that experience like? Is that something you're trying to do moving forward? Or is it kind of just like, because I've also seen you say, you, you know, sometimes it helps to process. So, like, what what direction are you taking with that? Okay, so nobody's perfect. The difference between me and a lot of people that I've lived my life mm -hmm. in the public eye. So, you know, you guys have seen a lot more shenanigans from me than, you know, from the regular person. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I like I told DJ Envy and just that hilarious the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't owe nobody no money. I'm not strung down in the street. You're right. I'm not no, I'm not no, uh, you know, I'm not out here doing bad things. I take care of my family. I do my job. I entertain millions of people. Mm -hmm. Do I f*** up and I, and I want to have a good time and I want to do so social party? Hell yeah. Sign <laughs> me up. Sign <laughs> me up. <laughs> I'm going first. <laughs> so what's the first thing you did when you got out of jail? I went back to work. Wow. I went back to work. I went to New York and finished the cabaret. I was filming wow. the cabaret. Just fresh out, straight to work. Straight back to straight work. Straight back to I had to. I had to finish the cabaret. The girls was in New York. Mm -hmm. You know, I put them out for 30 days. We filmed. We, we, we're going to. you got to come to one of my shows. Have you seen the videos of how epic my shows are? Yes. The girls have fire. They wow. have, they, they, they do tricks. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a whole thing. They yeah. know all the songs word for word. It's, yeah. it's epic. So no, I, let us know. We'll be down. I, I, I couldn't wait to get back to work. Yeah. I couldn't wait to get back to work. But, but you know, for real, to, to, answer, to answer your question, absolutely, I feel like a lot better to perform mm -hmm. sober. I don't have to drink. I don't have to smoke. I don't have to do nothing. I could just do, I could just perform. I don't have to go, I don't have to do my social drugs and be my social butterfly that I am. Mm -hmm. Like the whole world loves to be, but I'm just the only one that's, brave enough to speak about it you mm. feel me i'm the only one that's brave enough to open up and be like you know i might be like mm, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> what <laughs> you know everybody want to be like oh i don't do that right oh, right. oh no i'm only with jesus and lord mm. and that's it mm -hmm. you know i'm not that girl but but i'm definitely working on being uh you know when i'm performing and i'm and i'm doing my job taking it more seriously and mm -hmm. respecting me my body myself and and my my being. Amen to that. Let's cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm, I feel that everybody has a, a journey in life. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that even though I have up and downs mm -hmm. and I'm, people judge me so much because I'm always in the media, I'm happy that I could laugh about it. Yeah. I could pray about it. I could write about it. Mm -hmm. 
And one thing about you, you stay relevant, okay? Because, like, you stay working, you stay relevant, because when you think about, you know, even if it's the people you started with um, on Love & Hip Hop, a lot of them maybe aren't necessarily in in the space, you know, that in the spaces that you're in, but you've... You've been talked about from the day you were on TV up until now, like just in the mix nonstop. So like, what's your your secret with that, I suppose? Or like, what's your angle with that? Like what, you know? You know what? You know what? I mm, I try to work really hard. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, I do be on TikTok. I do be on Instagram. I do be on Twitter. Yeah. I do be on Facebook. I be on all that. Right. Like everybody else. Mm -hmm. But I try to work harder than I try to be famous. Mm. Or try to hit the blogs. Yep. I try to. I actually do more work than I actually like. Before at the beginning, I used to put more work into Instagram and online because mm -hmm. it's what it takes for you to get to where I'm at right now, right? right? But now it's like I could breathe. I do more work mm -hmm. than actually just being on media because you know sometimes young, younger generation they need that. Right. I need to get high. I need to be popping. I need to get on. I need to get on TikTok. I need to do a video. I need to do. Hey, more power to you. I said right. you have a plan. Mm -hmm. So for me. I just feel like I, I've been able to stay, you know, always talked about yeah. and people care about the things that I do or work on or, you know, pay to watch me and, and stuff like that or come see me perform because I feel like I really focus on trying to be a better artist, uh, a better TV personality mm -hmm. and just, you know, outside of being a mother and a wife, I just yeah. really just try to focus on doing what I love to do. Yeah. And you said you, you would do Love & Hip Hop again? Like, why? I mean, not why, but like, why you don't not? need it. Yeah. We don't need a lot of things, but we're doing <laughs> <laughs> The reason why, because look, I, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I, I would do Love and Hip Hop and I would do like a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Because you know why? I just feel like I don't want to turn down no opportunities. Mm. I feel like that's like such a bad thing to do. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm learning that. Okay. I just feel like that's such a bad thing to do to turn down other opportunities. It is the worst thing that a human being can do is to turn down opportunities that you could potentially go do, get some good money, get some exposure, mm -hmm. promote your shit, and take your black ass home. Mm. Make yourself useful. Yeah. And so that's why I say I would do it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to turn nothing down. Yeah. I just feel like it's so bad and disrespectful. Mm. But okay, so why did you turn the reel down? Because they did ask you, and you would have been great. That was I such like, a good show. I like to pop my coochie. <laughs> <laughs> they would have let you do that on daytime TV. No. <laughs> I need to be in the studio. I need to be popping my ass, my tits. I need to perform, swim my hair, do a split, sing a song, yeah. make love to the stage and mm. the people. Yeah. Like, I just can't be sitting out there gossiping with them ladies. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, you you know what you want, you know your lane, and that's what you go after. But now I'm good. That. I'd rather be in the streets, you know, get my money going here, there, fly right. out of town, private, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, that's more like my steal Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think has the best one-liners between when, we, when, you know, when we're speaking reality TV, reality gold? These three people right here have the best one-liners. So you, NeNe Leakes, or Tiffany, New York? NeNe. NeNe? Okay. Why? Well, she's a little older than me <laughs> and Tiffany, so she's more seasoned, yeah. and, and, the, and she's been around longer. Okay. So she could read, and then um, yeah. that's why I think. And she's funny as sh Yeah, she is. And you got baby Bonnie Bella. Well, she's not a baby anymore, but Bonnie Bella. She's six. Oh, my God. She's six. She really just grew up, just out of nowhere. What is something, you know, now that you're so successful, and even maybe not, financially but what's something that you know you work to give your daughter as a mother that maybe you didn't have growing up time mm. yeah time she was with us in uh in the, she's gonna be in the cabaret she shot a couple of times with oh me she was God. she was there she was there with her grandma in new york she stayed with us the whole 26 days so the yeah. summertime she, she's here now oh wow in yeah she's, she's at the hotel with her oh, nice. her other grandma mm -hmm. and she's been with us the whole time and it's just the most wonderful thing that you could do actually see them every day mm -hmm. and spend time with them. She's such a little lady. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She's yeah. so wonderful. But time is the best. Time. Money's okay and schooling and everything like that, but time is what they're going to remember mm -hmm. and what they're going to appreciate. Mm -hmm. And they learn, and you learn from them. Amen. Amen to that. Well, today we have an opportunity to write a little something. something. I'm excited. So, like, what do you want to write about? Okay, so every time I go to a new city mm -hmm. and film a new cabaret, 
I did uh, do it like it should be day for Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I did Vegas. Uh, I, I want to ride. I want to ride for Vegas. Mm -hmm. I, I did sex drive for Miami. Okay. And for New York, I did New York. Okay. So I do a soundtrack. So the way I do it when I'm in the studio with my husband, Ballistic, shout out to him. Shout out to Love Ballistic. Um, you know, he comes, he just does the beats. Mm -hmm. He makes the track. And I'm just like on his heels just writing. Okay. Just writing. So I move really quick with, with, let's say, so I usually take about 10, 15 minutes to okay. do a hook and a little bit of the verse, right? Okay. And then, you know, it take me like, I, it, you'll see. We'll, we okay. can work it. I told him to send us a beat. All right. Because uh, I know you have some other beats, but I kind of wanted to use my baby's beat. Okay, period. Uh, and then... And we, we have, have to add some Espanol, right? To of the, course, to if the you song. want to. Yeah, we have to have have some Espanol. Okay. Boricua vibes. We could add whatever you want to add, whichever okay. language you want to uh, add to it. So what's your process? How do we start? And what do you what, what do you want to write about? Okay, so let's hear the beat. Okay, let's hear the beat. California. And California. In California, papi, yo te encontraré. Hey. En el shade room, papi, porque te guste. Ew. So basically, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the hook. Like in California, papi, is where I'm going to find you. In the shade room is where I like to. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My roommates, this was unplanned. She had no idea we were even writing a song today. So I'm, <laughs> I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. In California, papi, yo te encontraré. In California, papi, yo te encontraré. Ooh, eh, eh. en el shade room, papi. Fue que te guste, te guste, te guste, te guste. Eh. En California, papi, yo te encontraré. Ah, hey, you know some hooks you can ah, double them up. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. En el shade room, papi. Fue que te guste, te guste, te guste. And then you can go into the hook, you know. Ba, 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 ba. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, for that, then I would do like at least seven minutes of silence. <laughs> we got, you just lay down the verse, okay, and the hook. The hook. We and have the whole hook, verse. and then we have a little bit of the first verse. Like, okay. like, 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 not half, but almost there. Right. So okay. we, we, so we can finish the song in a time. Let's lay it down. Let's lay it down. Wait, are you going to record with me, or do you want me to just do it by myself? I think we could record it together. Let's do it together, because you sound amazing. I'll be a hype man. I'll come in there with you or stay out here. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll you should come in. record it with me. Stop okay. it. <laughs> she sounds great. Come here. Everybody tell her she sounds great. So you should record done. it with me. Okay. All right. Well, let's go to the booth. Let's go to the booth. Let's go to the booth. This bad is jostling. Dummy the chocolate. We're going to get that bread and it's going to be forever. Hey. It's going to be forever. Hey. It's gonna be forever. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy right there. What is sound like, Melissa? Huh? Play it back, man. With them bitches. Them be the chocolate. That's crazy. Oh, baby, at least cut. Babe, let me ask you a question. Can you cut something nice with those two uh, lay downs that we got? Okay, cut something. Let's go out of there. Let some of you hear okay. yourself. Next time you hear yourself, you're a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just laid down a track. So while um, he's mixing it, you know, we just gonna chop up a little bit. I got a little game for us to play. Okay. Okay. So um, you know, you used to be, you know, in the dancing, doing your thing back in the day. So I'm gonna give you like a list of celebrities, and you know, we could come up with stripper names for them. Okay. Okay. That's All a right. good game. Okay. All right. So the first one, Lotto. What's her stripper name? Uh, I would probably give her White Chocolate. White Chocolate. Okay, Yeah, that's why? a good name. Why? Because she, she's, her mom is white and okay. her dad is black and she's uh -huh. a white chocolate. Okay. Is she black? It depends on how she, I've never been around Lotto long enough to, or around enough to know how uh -huh. she considers herself. Okay. And I've never really talked to her in that, like, you know, in that person. Because if she black, Amber is black. But, but, but we ain't gonna but, go into that. But, but she, her mom, her mom is white and her dad is black, so. Yeah. She's she's a mixture, but that's a different. That's two different people. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And two different ways of thinking. Right. Okay. Fair. All right, Missy Elliott. Oh, thunder thighs. Oh. Baby, she look like she about to get on that stage and ah. thunder thighs on that ass. 
Nicki Minaj. She will be do it like it's your beat day. Baby. Do it like it's your beat day. Baby. Do it like it's your beat day. Baby. Baby. Do it like it's your beat day. That'll be her name. Do it like it's your beat day. That's a long name. That's like coming to the stage. Do it, do it like, like it's your beat day. Beyonce. She would just have to be Virgo. Virgo, fair. That's yeah. a girl. She'd probably like just, that too. I would just have to give her Virgo. Virgo. What about Solange? Caramel, chocolate caramel. Chocolate caramel. Celine Dion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Why y'all doing me like that? I ain't gonna go with the first one I thought about. Let's see. Celine Dion. Celine Let's see. Dion. I need help. What would you give her? I don't know. Titanic. I like it, Titanic. Right. I, like I don't it. know if that's good or, in a good way, right? She sung the soundtrack. Exactly. So that's, that's what great, Titanic. Yeah, because it's <laughs> a big deal. Okay, so for some guys, okay. 50 Cent. Body. Body. Body coming to the stage. Oh, body coming to the okay, that's stage. a good one. That's a, that's a good one. Damn, body coming <laughs> to the stage. Drake. I don't know, pancake. Pancake? <laughs> Like he gives pancake. me pancake. He gives me like a like a fluffy pancake. Okay. Fluffy yeah. pancake. Everybody likes pancakes. Every, every, I love pancakes. Everybody likes pancakes. Drake, I love pancakes. Pancakes. Drake will be AKA pancakes coming pancakes. to the stage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Denzel Washington. Oh, big daddy. <laughs> That's Big Daddy, Big okay. Daddy, Big Daddy three times. Big Daddy three times. Big Daddy, Big Daddy, Big Daddy coming to the stage. Coming to the stage. I like that, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Usher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, most hated right now. Usher is most hated. He's That's not most hated. Yeah, that would be his stage name, most hated. No, he, we can't give Usher. He's going to give guys, the best show. The guys are so mad at Usher right now, but I really but think... But the ladies love him. Can I tell you something? I okay. can't wait to go see him. Okay, me too. I can't wait to go see him. I think yeah. he's awesome. And I really think the guys should just chill. He's just doing his job. Right. And the ladies actually love it. Yeah. So, 100%. okay, maybe let's give him Skater. Skater. Because he's, he's always on stage skating. Yeah. And he's a great skater, and I could see him coming to the pole with his skates on. Ska so, skater. You know, that, I would pay to see that. Yeah, because he's... skating pole dance? He's skating all over the, the, the yeah. you know, Usher, the residency. Give us that. Like, we want to see you on that pole while you skate. While you skate. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, okay. <laughs> well, no, well, now that we said Usher, we got to see Kiki Palmer. What's her super name? Mulata. Mulata, what does that mean? You know, mulata is like a like a big mulata, like a black woman, like a oh. big black sexy mulata. Mulata. You know, that's what the Spanish people say when they see a, a big frame, you know, black figure for the yeah. ladies. Mulata, esa mulata. Mulata. I want to give her one too. Okay. We're gonna call her mother. Oh, she is mother. She is and mother. And she's beautiful. She shout out to Kiki. And you know, cause her man said you a mother, so her stripper name gonna be mother. Chat, I'm a mother. Well, look what I got on. Right. Oh. Oh. Think about that child, right. please. Uh, listen, just because you're a mother doesn't mean you're dead. Exactly. Does not mean that you cannot have fun. Does not exactly. mean that you cannot be sexy. Does not mean that you cannot go out there and enjoy yourself. And I call him Cap. And I love <laughs> me some Kiki, so please have a good time. Right. Hey, what's your biggest pet peeve? When somebody say cold cuts. <laughs> Wait, say what? When somebody say cold cuts. Oh, cold cuts? Why? Please don't say it. <laughs> Wait, it's what? like so cringy. Really? I hate it. Who's got the best who's got the best BBL in the game? But but who's got a BBL though? You thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, who okay in the game. Okay, who's got a BBL? Anybody help me. Who's got a BBL? Who's you don't BBL? know? Like you can't just look and tell? No. No? Wait, do you have one? Or no? 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 That's all natural? Yeah! <laughs> I ain't got no BBL. I ain't got no BBL. Yeah. Do you have any work done? I ain't got no BBL. <laughs> you asked me do I got a BBL. I ain't got no BBL. <laughs> I don't know who got BBLs. Who's I got... promise you I don't. Yeah. You got to give me names for me to... I, I, I mean, if you don't know, I don't know. I don't know who got BBLs. Okay. That's a fair... That's a fair answer. Which public figure would you like to trade places with for a day? So they live your life, you live theirs. For one day? Yeah. Melanie Tr uh, Trump. Really? I want to see what they go over there doing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to 
to see what gold they spit on top of gold and yeah. everything. So Mel I Melania Trump and Melania Jocelyn. Trump. Yeah, I, let me get that life for one day. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. You know. What are you most proud of about yourself? Being a mother. Being a mother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not perfect, but I'm a great mother, and my daughter loves me. She's she's amazing. She's go to she. I don't expose her. Mm -hmm. You guys barely see Bonnie. That's true. She's living a child's life. Mm -hmm. So being a mother. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you could leave a mark on the world that lived forever, what would it be? That you could come from nothing, like where I came from, and become something. Okay. You just have to believe, have tenacity, have passion, have love, pray a lot, dream, and don't listen to anyone but you and your heart. Amen to that. Well, on that note, we got to listen to our track. I think it's ready now. I'm hearing it's ready now. Hey, 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 roommates, are y'all hey, ready? In the shade room, papi. Introduce our song. You got you to gotta introduce the song for the so, roommates to hear. La de Chocolate, Tenvi, y la Puerto Riqueña, Jocelyn Hernández. Te estamos dando un ritmo, ¿ok? Está bien sexy, bien chulo, y te va a gustar. Vámonos. Oh. Mm -hmm, what she said. <laughs> En California, papi, yo te encontraré. Ey, ey, en el shade room, papi. Fue que te gusté, te gusté, te gusté, te gusté. En California, papi, yo te encontraré. Ey, 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 en el shade room, papi. Fue que te gusté, te gusté, te gusté, te gusté. This bad is bitch, Jocelyn. Dame de chocolate. Forever. Ay, it's gonna be forever. Ay, it's gonna be forever. Ah! We got a hit. We got, <laughs> <laughs> got a hit, y'all. That was so good. In California, papi, yo te encontraré. Ay, ay, en el shade room, papi. Chocolate, we're gonna get that bread and it's gonna be forever. forever.